Happy flashing, everybody. It's Chad Hughes. You know, uh, instead of doing a little review or a, a rundown, I figured I'd give you a little preview before the first episode of XDA TV ROM rundown goes on, so. Oops. Let's get a little zoom in on that, uh, Android guy pissing on that Apple. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So, anyway. I figured I'd give you a little preview of a, of a ROM so you guys can get a little uh, taste of it if you're scared to flash it. Because here's my thing I know a lot of people are afraid to flash nightly for some reason. Uh, I mean, well, it's not for some reason. I mean, they're nightlies, you know. They have bugs. You never know what bug you're going to get. So, with that being said, I'm going to take you for a little spin of CM7 also known as a uh, cyanogen mod 7 and if you do not know who team cyanogen is you need to uh either read a book or uh, get a life uh one or the other should help with that here we go with that sexy ass boot screen they always have you know what if if you can count on team cyanogen for one thing it is a sexy ass boot screen let me tell you they've always pulled through i absolutely adore it adore this boot screen is that weird for me to say I adore it? No, I, I do. I adore the boot screen. I really do. Let's go ahead and get this baby started. Start up in 10 seconds. I don't. Let me see if, you can, if I can zoom in here. Get that, uh, the full effect of that. Yeah, look at that. See that little, like, uh, that little trail? That little trail is sexy. Alright, so right off the bat here, you're going to notice the, uh, that typical AOSP um, lock screen. We're gonna, let's go ahead and unlock this thing. I don't have to set up my Google account. Oh man, am I really? Am I willing to do that right now? All right, hold on. Let me handle this really quick. All right, now that that's all good and finished. Sorry, guys, I had to put my name in there. Guys and girls. I know it's not just guys. Uh, first thing you're gonna notice with Cyanogen Mod Seven, if you haven't used it before, I mean, uh, you have ADW launcher as your stock launcher. I mean, if you like that, you know, that's good. If you don't, you know, you can change it. Whatever floats your boat. Uh, I tried pressing the home button to see if they give you alternate launchers. It doesn't look like they do. Uh, but then again, this is a nightly, and that's not their job. Uh, that's why the market's there. Another thing I'm going to have to tell you is you're going to have to flash the uh, the Google applications such as Market and Gmail and things of that nature. So if you're not really a big fan of flashing uh, extra files after you flash your ROM, uh, you're going to steer clear of this one. I don't suggest you do, but I mean, you're going to do it. It's just in your nature. <laughs> one of the biggest things with Cyanogen is uh, the settings menu. If I could get there without the phone being mean to me. Um, you know, the settings menu for the for Cyanogen mod is, is just, you know, one of the staples of their development. I mean, you have so many settings to go through. From, you know, application widgets to input settings, performance settings, sound settings, user interface. What I really like about the user interface menu is you can pretty much change anything. In, uh, and I mean anything. Uh, you go from there, you have, you know, performance settings... I like to lock my home screen in memory, but I'm not going to use ADW uh, for one reason or another. I can't, I can't get with ADW. I can't stand. This is a Cyanogen menu. This is not a standard Android menu. I mean, you should know that, but this is not a standard Android menu. So this is, you know, this is pretty special as far as ROM goes. And you have your ADW settings built into the um to the uh, settings menu. Wireless and networks, call settings, you know, everything as usual, sound, display, location. If you want to take a look at that about phone, Android 2.3.1, that is gingerbread. I'm using the, uh, the leaked Evil Bass Band 11.19. Uh, and the Cyanogen Mod Homebrew Kernel, which I'm probably going to switch to Invisible K as soon as I'm done recording this video because I really... Really, really, really like Invisible K. He makes great kernels. I, I suggest you guys use his kernels if you're running an AOSP ROM. And if not, download an AOSP ROM. Just use his kernel because it's absolutely amazing. The battery life that you can get 
with this amazing device using one of its kernels. I'm, I'm gonna guess you get your fair share of wallpapers. Uh, there's a you know live wallpapers to go along with it. You know, Cyanogen never seems to displease. Uh, this is a modified version of the Nexus wallpaper. It's absolutely gorgeous, actually. I kind of like that. Wow. Yep, they never, they never cease to please, and all they aim to do is please. Or show off their programming. Everything else is pretty much standard Cyanogen mod. You have your, the CM7 camera, which I'm not going to show you because, you know, it's dark and I don't feel like moving and taking a picture and all this other nonsense. CM comes bundled with DevTools, um, File Manager, everything else you think you'd need. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, I have TweetDeck on here. YouTube, you know, the, the Google apps, YouTube and all that. Has a music program, which is great, uh, but I have no music on the phone, so I'm not even going to attempt to show you that. Other than that, I mean, everything is pretty much standard, but it's cyanogen. It's CM7. This is the nightly build number 46 because this is, I find that this is the most stable. It's really fast, it's really good to use. I mean, you know, I really don't have any problem with this. What I would like to do is download the uh, Madako Gingerbread Launcher, and then uh, that'll just complete my whole my whole day. And there's a great theme on XDA called, uh, I think, Dark Ginger. I don't know. But it's on XDA, and it's an awesome theme. I suggest you download it. So that's a quick little ROM preview. Not rundown, but preview of CM7. If you didn't think you wanted to download it, you might want to download that now. Check it out. You know it's fun. It's mildly stable. Uh, it's still in beta phases, but I, you know, I said, you know, I use this as a daily driver. I mean, Cyanogen has been around for quite some time, and uh, this is the most non-broken release, as far as I'm concerned. And bundled with Invisible K's number twenty-eight kernel, you can't go wrong. Okay, Chad Hughes, ROM preview, Cyanogen mod seven, lightning number forty-six. I'm signing out. Shout out to everyone watching the video, and please, be careful with your arms. Here are some quick things I should mention you should download. Invisible K's number 28 kernel on xdadevelopers.com. Also, the Cyanogen Mod 7 released by Crack Flashers, and don't forget to get those Google Apps and Rob Manager.